Hi friends, I'm Manzur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about how to identify and fix orphaned users in SQL Server. So we know about logins and users in SQL Server. To connect to instance and database, we have to go through a defined principles. Uh, this principle is defined by Microsoft SQL Server to authenticate and verify the login credentials and decides whether to allow access or not based on certain undefined criteria. You can uh, query and uh, find the login details in sys.server underscore principles and sys.syslogins views. We'll see in practical. Okay. So sometimes uh, when we try to log into newly migrated database or new restored database on other server, we get authentication issue. So basically, uh, SQL Server login is mapped to database user, and if this mapping is broken, or it is not correctly defined as per SQL Server principles, then login will not be successful for that particular user of database. So on particular instance, and this user is called orphaned users. Also, if security identifier is not available for particular database user in server instance, in that case also user becomes orphaned. If you will query sys.server underscore principles and sys.syslogins, you will get some useful information. But it is insufficient details uh, for login as login password which is available is not in actual format. So here we are going to find out often users and techniques to map those users with correct security identifier in an instance. Okay, so I'll just go to my instance. Okay, I noted down uh, my query here. This is my first server or instance, and we'll use this client info database for uh, practice. So now this is the query to check orphaned users sp underscore change underscore users underscore login report. So I'll use client info database. So right now you can see username and user ID. So we don't have any uh, often user on this database on this server. Okay. So we have uh, we can query sys dot server underscore principles to check some more details. So I have all these logins on this server. So we'll get principal ID, default database name. Okay, map to particular login. Then you have sys dot sys login uh, views. I'll just query. Okay, so you'll get some more details in this. So you have login name, database name, and password. Okay, so you have password, but this false password is, but you can't uh, read it or you, you won't be able to understand it because it is in different format. Okay, so we'll check some more details. Okay, we'll check login name and a login SID from sys dot sys logins and username and user ID from sys dot sys users. Okay, sorry, I clicked somewhere else. I'll just cancel it. Okay, execute it. Now you can see in sys dot sys logins your login name Lisa and your uh, SID for this login is this one okay now uh, username Lisa and user SID if you can see it is properly mapped okay in both uh, sys.sys logins and sys.sys users okay SID is same now what we'll do, we'll uh, take backup of this database and we'll restore or uh, restore this database on other server and check the details. I'll just right click on database, task, backup. Okay. So I'll go to my path to take the backup. This is my folder backup. I'll take client info dot bak. 
Okay. Okay. I'll verify when ba backup finish. Then click on OK. It is taking backup on C drive backup. It is successful. So this is C drive backup. This is my client info dot back file. Now I will restore this database to different server. Okay, I'll connect to my different server. This is SQL to different server, different instance. I'll just check the database. I don't have client info database here. So what I'll do, I'll restore the database. Right click on database and restore. Now I'll select that file, backup file which is available here. I'll click on client info and OK. OK then select and OK. OK I'll go to files. I want to restore my uh, database. OK this master data file and log file on different path. This is my restore DB. OK I'll show you this folder. This is my restore DB. C drive restore DB. Right now there is no file. So this is my master data file. I'll give you a file name client info dot mdf and log file name client info underscore log dot ldf ok I'll click on ok I'm restoring my database restored successful click ok now I'll just refresh this database node now we have client info ok so I'll go to this my SQL uh, 2 node I'll open a window. This is my SQL2. I'll just refresh it. Okay. Now I'll check if there is any uh, offend users. So I'll use uh, database client info sp underscore change underscore users underscore login report execute. Now as you can see, we have two offend users, SA and Lisa okay so with username and user SID now if you uh, cross check sys logins and sys users okay just select this and execute now you can see uh, previously we have seen the sys login and sys users both were same uh, with the uh, user SID and login SID now you can see these both are different because it is not mapped to principles okay so what we'll do we'll try to fix it so uh, to fix the uh, login you have to execute sp underscore change users login auto fix lisa so what will uh, this this command will do it will auto fix this login with particular user okay and uh, after that we'll again uh, cross check this login SID and user SID so I'll just check it I'll select it and execute now you can see the number of often user fixed by updating user was 1 okay because I have corrected Lisa now I'll again uh, go and check the syslogin and sysusers execute now you can see login SID and user SID now it has mapped okay now it is showing uh, same one it is not different earlier it was showing different one so we have fixed this Lisa 
I'll uh, again execute this report and you'll find only SA so Lisa right now not available because it has been fixed okay now uh, we have our different syntax also uh, for different scenario so this is the syntax if login not available in new server then you can create it by using this sp underscore change underscore users underscore login autofix then your username then your login and your password so login will pass, pass null okay and then autofix Lisa with this password you can execute this in particular scenario and uh, there is one more different scenario to map a database user with new login so if you want to map it then you have to create a login by create login your uh, new login name with new password then you can map it you can map your old uh, user with new login so you can do that in same by SP change users login you have to specify update one which will map this user old user to new login this old uh, user this login Lisa to new login this one okay so you can use like this then once like uh, you have fixed it then you can uh, go and connect with the database so as we have fixed uh, this Lisa login now uh, we will check uh, if we we can uh, login with this uh, login ID or not so I'll uh, open a new uh, connection okay connect to server then uh, this is my okay server name where we have fixed this login Lisa okay and I'll put password connect so we have successfully connected okay so this Lisa login is working fine and there is no often users for this login okay so if you like my video uh, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can visit to my website sqlserverlog.com okay and uh, I have written this how to identify and fix orphan users in SQL Server you can go through uh, this article nice article step by step and you can subscribe to newsletter and you can join me on Facebook and if you have any query you can leave a reply on this article thank you